we are going to discuss today what is normal sperm count. Really, uh, doctor, can you explain what do you mean if you say I've got a normal sperm count? A normal sperm count ranges from 15 million sperms to more than 200 million sperms per milliliter of semen. Anything below or less than 15 million per milliliter or 39 million sperm per ejaculate is considered low. In that way, we say it's oligospermia, low sperm count. Now, semen analysis is to evaluate your sperms from your semen. And in that, we look at the number of sperms, which is the volume, including the volume, the shape of your sperm, and we also look at the movement of your sperm, which we call motility. And the shape of the sperm we call morphology. What is normal semen analysis? We use a World Health Organization criteria to evaluate the semen analysis, the first parameter we look at is the total. The total sperm count in ejaculate is supposed to be 39 to 928 million. Ejaculate volume is supposed to be 1.5 to 7.6 mils. Sperm concentration we, we, on evaluation should be between 15 and 259 million per liter. Total motility should be 40 to 81%. Progressive motility, which it means forward movement of the sperm, should be between 32 and 75%. And sperm morphology should be between 4 and 48%. Therefore, this is a criteria which we use to decide whether you have a low sperm count or you have got a normal sperm count. Why does sperm count matter? Why is so important? Healthy sperm is necessary for natural conception. Sperm count also can tell us more about your general health as a man. Studies have shown that there's a strong association between the low sperm count with the following. One, elevated or high BMI, body mass index, elevated or high blood pressure. Metabolic syndrome is closely associated with the low sperm count. However, people with a low sperm count have a high chance of developing the following condition, diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Therefore, the overall health of your sperm count can tell us more about you as a man. How does sperm count affect fertility? Male infertility factors often are due to a slow sperm count. And female infertility may be due to the following. Low ovarian reserve, block fallopian tubes, endometriosis, and polycystic ovarian syndrome. But commonly in men, the only feature which we pick, which contribute probably one third in infertility, it will be a low sperm count or abnormality in parameters of the sperm count as I elaborated above. Are there treatment for a low sperm count? Infertility or low sperm count may be caused by a number of factors like genetic, post-surgery, general health, and sometimes sexually transmitted disease you acquired. Possible treatment option for low sperm count is surgery, especially if you've got a viral crucible, 
or if you have got a obstructed vas deferens. Antibiotics, if you know you diagnose with STI or STD early, bacterial infection can be treated with antibiotics. Medication or counseling for premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction may be helpful. Hormonal treatment and medication as well can be used to improve a low sperm count. If you have a low sperm count and hoping to conceive a child, there are many fertility options available today, including a range of treatment which you can try. Intrauterine insemination, which you call artificial insemination. In vitro infertilization, which you commonly call IVF or a test tube baby, or IXC, which is known for intracytoplasmic sperm injection, commonly known as XC. These are all available treatment for a person with a low sperm count. It's very important to know that lifestyle is very important to look at. BMI and healthy eating habit are very important to improve the quality of your sperm. Thank you.